Hi guys, it's me Karen and today I've come to show you a book that I got. <laughs> now this came out probably in February uh, everywhere else but I found out that when I tried to go to Coloring Haven here in Washington, <laughs> that's where I live, they w would not deliver it to my area. So one of the kind people in one of the streams I was watching had told me that there is actually a place that I could look them up over here. So they come over here a little later than everywhere else and they finally got this one in stock. So I went ahead and purchased this. I watched this first on uh, Connie's channel and fell in love with it and really wanted to buy this book. <laughs> So this is my first ever Coloring Haven magazine, and it is a subscription service. Um, I just picked up this book off of the uh, site that I went to. On the back page, they do um, tell you how to join the group, and I don't know if I can actually even do that through any of this stuff, because I've tried before and never can get one. So, yay, I finally got this one, because I love it. <laughs> And I went through uh, a lot of searching. I mean, every month I would go into the same shop and see if they had it finally, and they did. So I think I got the only copy they had. <laughs> anyway, I'm really happy. So it got delivered, and I'm going to show you what it um, looks like. Now, I don't know if you all know, Coloring Haven's got a list of the um, person that draws everything here. It gives you a little blip of who they are, what they draw, and that kind of information. Color combination chart here. And then they are um, numbered. I don't know if they have names or anything in this particular book, but they're numbered. So this is number one on this page. Isn't that just adorable? I mean, I just fell in love with it when she, <laughs> Connie was uh, showing it on her page. She's done a video um, with her Pablos in here. Um, she did the piggy page. I'll show it to you in a little bit. Let's see if I turn on the light here if that helps any. Get a little brighter. Okay, so this is page number two. Like I said, you've probably seen some of these already colored. Took me forever to get this book. <laughs> nice little Tiffany lamp. This is the page that Connie did with the uh, little piggy here which is adorable. <laughs> the teacups. And then we have a little fox in the woods here. Perfect page for Easter with the little chicks. Some are going to be extremely detailed. So you have the farm scene inside here with the bunnies and then all of these red puppies. That'll be pretty all colored in. I love this one. I was looking at it the other day. It's a little cupboard where you would put your nice dishes and your cups, tea kettles, all that if you had a old fashioned kitchen. And then you've got little bunnies and frogs and chicks and <laughs> little mice coming out of the teapot little bee here. We need a little honey jar in here somewhere. <laughs> the little wreath. We've got beautiful birds here. We've got the nest. So that's going to be pretty too. Here we have the little mice in the tulips. One crawling up here. A beautiful little house in the background. As much detail as you want or you can just simply color it straight color any way you want to do this is gorgeous with the little bunnies down here flowers coming down i really like that <laughs> um, i can't tell you anything about the paper yet because i haven't really colored on it it is kind of a thinner paper and it feels pretty smooth yet it might have a little bit of tooth to it if you know anything about the color haven books you might know more about the paper than i do <laughs> love this page too. We got the little bee down here and a little ladybug and 
I mean, when you start looking at it, you see a lot more. These guys are sitting down for table. They got their little menus here. We got our waiter. <laughs> Adorable. Birds in their bird houses. Like a little mo or squirrels. I'm gonna say it's a squirrel. But they look like they could be just the mice's. I don't see tails on them. But when around here we know what squirrels do to bird feeders and bird houses. We try to keep them away as much as possible. Here we got the little mice on a swing. We got the rabbit in the chair, the kicking back. Kitty cat looking through and a couple of birds, a little frog. Oh, we got strawberries growing over here. <laughs> oh, and this one. So this would be like the cookie um, server that you would have. And on here we've got all sorts of little animals and their houses and their little ladders to climb up. That is just adorable. We got a little fat cat here too. <laughs> a bear down here. It's a little bear cub. Uh, we got like a wallpaper page. So you got a whole bunch of little critters in here. And the little pull. We have these on lamps. So that's the little pull thingies that you turn lamps on with. <laughs> here we've got penguins and seals out here on the water, on a veranda. That would be pretty too. And we've got a bunny all decked out in a gorgeous dress. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. I've got some pictures that go this way. So here we have little piggies inside of a hat. I don't know if the next page is up. Oh, yep. I died over this one. Donuts and cookies. <laughs> the pig is serving out of his little food cart. Oh, that was adorable. <laughs> okay, and then this one. We have our little squirrel here, and he's walking out. He's got his little umbrella and a big puddle here. Little rainbow coming down from the sky above, so that's the reflection in the puddle. Just so cute. Here we've got more umbrellas. <laughs> Little kitty cat umbrella. This is the back cover. <coughs> so on these books they have a back cover. You can color on these too. So that's that one. And I love this page. I think this one's cool. So we've got a couple of frogs and like little tiles. So you can spend your time coloring one tile and put the book away, come back and do another tile. Take your time with it. It's pretty. Another one that goes this way. So here we have like a, a little water where all the duckies are and the puppy. He's a little corgi. <laughs> And then duck, ducks coming in. We got duck up here drinking. A little kitty cat over here. <laughs> it's just too cool. And here we're in a boat. And this is just like the sail here. The kitties are going through with a little dolphin down here in the bottom. And we got that little a donkey or I'm gonna call it a donkey <laughs> rooster and I don't know if these are gonna be lemons or hmm I'll we'll have to figure that one out they're bringing their harvest in I oh, would look at that so we've got the wallpaper on the house and then a back wall Coming down the stairs, and we've got uh, Mommy here watching everybody else. They've got their bounty coming in. How pretty. Oh, and this one will be great too with the birds. These are like Chinese lanterns. I could color them that way. We've got berries. Probably some other plant. <laughs> here we've got like a Halloween scene where we've got a kitty up here on the broom. A couple of taglers here trying to get on the mice. 
the mice climbing up here, the owl up here. Oh, they're cute. And here we're in a cave with uh, like your crystals and a little mouse here. Oh, that's cute too. A little wooden shoe. Oh, got a train book. Sorry. So we have the little wooden shoe here, a little hedgehog, another little squirrel. So that could be a fall page done in fall colors. Oop, another one that goes this way. So this looks like a bookshelf. The bunch of books in it. This one has an arch where the little mouse is coming out of. And we've got a, a raccoon, a panda, a kitty cat, an owl, a gull, a horse, butterflies, a little uh, mousy here, and a goldfish behind a curtain. That's kind of cool. That'd be fun too. Do a couple books at a time. Here's a nice fall wreath with the kitty cat, and pumpkins and gourds, a little bit of berries. Some ribbons. Oh, and these are like um, the little dolls with the cut out clothes that you can put on them and change their outfits. <laughs> oh, here we've got kitties in a hammock. That's adorable. And a little ducky out here. All these pictures are just sweet as can be. I love this one. So we kind of have a uh, lace look on the outside surrounding the Christmas ornaments on the inside. And each one of them is different. <laughs> Little booby. The birds, the sheep, angels. I just love that page too. And here we have another Christmassy scene. We've got some bears out here in gingerbread house and those like candy or wax trees. I think they're candy. They could be frosting too. You could pipe it with frosting, but we got candy all over. Ice cream cone, biscuits. That'll be fun. <laughs> I don't know about the next one. Yeah, it goes this way. So here we have the winter scene with the kitty cat all dressed up. You can do her in red if you like. But I'm going to probably do this whole page in blue. I have a blue spruce tree. Snowflakes. <laughs> Another wallpaper scene with a cute little cut out of the bunny. She's doing embroidery. Peeking over her shoulder. And that will be the end of the book. So there you go. And we have, uh, like I said, the information here. That you can, um, if you can sign up. Go for it. <laughs> then, like I said, the back and on the front cover, you can also color on this. So, I am pleased as punch to have this book. So happy. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, I'll see you in another video. And I'll have to figure out which color or which page to color. Take care, everyone. Bye now. <laughs>